Welcome to the Gilfrat channel. My name is JB and welcome to the fifth advanced tutorial for SCARM. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to label your layout diagram, how to make a key, how to color your tracks different colors so you can label different sections of your track work, and how to export your layout into an image file that you can email or share on the web. On the screen, you see my home layout. Uh, this is the layout that if you looked at the other videos on my YouTube channel, uh, this is a diagram of the layout that you see in those videos that I drew out in SCARM. And you can see I was able to label where the mountains located, the town, the lake. Uh, I was able to give this diagram a name and then I was also able to create a little map key here that tells you what the different track colors are. So I'm going to show you how to do that today in this tutorial. So let's minimize that. So right now I have the tutorial track plan that I was working on back in tutorial three where I was showing you how to build roads. I've added a few trees and I've adjusted the location of some of the buildings. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how you can add a key and label this. Uh, labeling is really, really easy. All you have to do is just right click and then right here it says place text. And then let's, let's say we wanna label the train station. So click that. And then I can label it right there. If I want to change the size or the font, I can go up to the top here. Uh, so I'll leave it at 30. And then um, let's see, we can make it. Uh, my favorite font is uh, Georgia. It's one of my favorite fonts. So I'll make it that. And then if you want to reposition it, you just click, uh, hold down the control key, and then click and drag like you would uh, any other object, and you can move the text around. And what's great is the text has no dimension to it, so that in the 3D view it won't show up. So like for instance, I click on here, then right click, go to properties. You'll see it has no height. In fact, it doesn't even let you adjust that. You can adjust its vertical position, though, if you want to, if you want to make sure it's on top of other items so that the label shows up instead of getting covered up uh, by like, say, like a station or a road or something like that. Also, you can change the color of the text. So let's say you wanted this to be blue. You click OK, and then now it's blue text. So that's how you can do that. So labeling is really simple. Now, let's say that you want to uh, color code your track so that you can point out where different sections of your track are. For instance, uh, let's say I want to color code the siding so that we know that that's a siding track and then I want to color code the main line. Um, so what you can do is just click on each piece. You can hold down the shift button and click. Uh, if you have a lot of track, a faster thing might be to select, let's say I want to label this small section here. So I'm going to click and select all of these pieces. And then I'm going to move it just a little bit so it's not connected anymore. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I don't have to go and collect on every single piece of the outside loop. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the outside track, double click, now that's all clicked or highlighted, but the siding track is not. And then oh, we can now click over here on this top menu bar. You see this little symbol that looks like a rectangle. It's been colored in. Click on the little down arrow and now you can fill in the track with the color. So let's make the main line, uh, we'll make the main line green. So click on green 
and now the main line is green and then now I will double click on this and you don't have to disconnect the tracks to label them in fact um, I'll show you that they can be touching and you only uh, can change the color of the selected pieces so I will now reattach this and then since it's already highlighted I can then go and change it and uh, why don't we make this red so we'll make that red okay so now I have the tracks color coded now I want to add a label key so I can tell you what the different colors mean and then also give you a name for layout now one idea is that you can just take your rectangle and go over here to figures and then just draw a rectangle like this but the problem is if that's all you do and make it transparent so that when you put labels in it it doesn't get covered up uh, you can then you know uh, put a name here and then fill it with boxes different colors like I did here but there is an issue if you have a perfectly rectangular layout when you go to export this it's only going to export the parts that are inside of the baseboard so this part will be completely left out of the picture so to get around that uh, you can either if you're lucky like in my layout you'll see that i have a piece of my layout that actually sticks out so it made this blank area here that still showed up in the picture and I was able to uh, squeeze in my map key and the name of the layout here. Uh, if you have a perfectly rectangular layout and you can't do that, like in this case, then what you have to do is just redraw the dimensions of your baseboard so that you have a little bit of blank space for a key. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll just go up to the tools, toolbox, and I will go over here and we'll just use the rectangular and I will just readjust the sides here so we know it's 96 across and then we'll just add two feet so we have room for the label so we'll make the dimension of B 72 inches and then done and now it has expanded layout now if you still want to show where the original dimension of the layout is you can do that by drawing a rectangle so i'll start out so i'll click here and then i'll draw a rectangle like that and we'll make it blue that color blue i believe is the same as the baseboard line okay okay and then now i will zoom in to make sure that my position is perfect and to make the line a little bit thinner so I'll make it a little bit thinner uh, the this object will stay the same size regardless um, of how much you zoom into it so see how as I zoom out um, it's staying the same size but this line here does uh, get bigger or thinner so as I zoom out see how it's become a much wider line compared to the objects around it and when I zoom in it gets really thin so you kind of want to play around with this and find the size line that looks about right uh, for when you have the entire layout in your screen. So that looks about okay. And then let's go over to this side and make sure it's attached. And then to make sure the height is correct, uh, we were at 50 inches, so we're right at 48. So that's pretty much exactly where it would be. So you can use that to draw the dimension of your board even though you've added on. Also, uh, if like, for instance, the club layout that I uh, am part of, I'm actually drawing their layout out in this program. It's a module layout. So I use the same method to indicate where the different modules were. So I drew the whole thing as its full dimensions, like it was one big layout. And then I used uh, the rectangle to draw lines to show where the breaks are in between the different modules. Okay, so now I've done all that, uh, now let's uh, work on the key. So I'll put that in the center here. And then uh, let's first put a label. So right click, place text. And so now let's put that right about there. 
and let's label the train layout. So we'll just call this uh, tutorial. Track plan. And then I like to put the year since, you know, things can change. And then uh, let's make that real big. So we'll change the text size to so make it 112. And then click out and then click on select and then control click to drag and reposition. And then now we can add some labels here in the key. So we'll replace text and I'll write in key and we'll make that smaller. Let's see. Yeah, 40 is still a little too small. Uh, let's make it uh, 68. There we go. Okay. So now I'll select that. And, you know, and if you ever need to re-edit your text, just double click and then now you can go back to editing the text. All right, so now I got the key there. Uh, so now I want to make some boxes with some colors in it so I can uh, label these different track colors. So just go to rectangle, click, drag, we'll make this one red. And then to make sure it's the exact same dimensions, I will just copy and paste that using the Windows shortcut keys of Control C and Control V. And then I'll move that over here. So let's have move that there, move that there, change that color to green. And then now just right click. Oops, in the box. So right click, place text. So here we'll put station track. And then right click, place text, and main line. And then I will make this slightly smaller text. So let's make that uh, 54. That's good. Reposition it so it's there we go. Just double checking to make sure they're both the same size text. And then we can make the key box a little bit smaller. So it didn't need that much room. And then if I want to, and I recommend doing this, I'm going to group all, everything in the key so I can just move it around as one thing. And then now I will just move that so it's a little more center. Move that so it's a little more center. And I will close that. And so that's how you label your layout diagram. And then to export it as a picture, you just go over to File, Export. And then you have three file types that you can choose, a BMP, a JPEG, or EMF. Uh, I'm just going to use the JPEG. And then I will save. And then now if I open my Windows Explorer and go to my track plans folder, and then I look up tutorial track plan right there. And now you can see I've exported it as a picture that I can then email or upload to the internet. So thank you for watching these tutorials. I hope you found them helpful. Uh, this will be my last tutorial for now. Uh, I might make some down the road. Uh, but at this point, I believe I've covered all the major things you need to know for building a layout in SCARM. If you have any other questions, uh, you can always check out the SCARM blog. 
Um, I will leave a link for that website in the description of this video. And I did show you that blog earlier in uh, some of my earlier tutorials. Um, you just go to home here and hit skarm.info forward slash blog, uh, or you could just Google Skarm blog. And that will give you all the information you need to know. And it's also available in several different languages. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these tutorials, please subscribe. 